Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of TrueNAS, to install in your Proxmox. We get to install the newest version of TrueNAS fresh off the press. You will need to use this for the allocation of Docker and Kubernetes volumes. When speed is important, you may want to use PCIe technology for your storage, especially for SSDs for better performance. Well, we cater for that. When you need storage speed, you can rely on TrueNAS. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. As Josh has mentioned, we're going to be installing TrueNAS into Proxbox. If you follow this link, it takes you to the TrueNAS website, and then you navigate to find the software over here. To save you time, I've already found the Community Edition. Now you will notice that there are two flavors of TrueNAS. There's the TrueNAS Core and the TrueNAS Scale. The difference is TrueNAS Core is an old version of TrueNAS. It's built on BSD. It's very stable. Businesses prefer to use this. However, this is built on Linux. It's more modern, and we are going to use this version. To save you time, I've already found the, the link to the ISO file, which is this one. So what you need to do is you need to open your Proxmox, select which storage device you want to install it. By default, you will have local, but you may have added other storages to your Proxmox server. I have two here, VM data and ZZ data. So you choose the one you want, you click on ISO images, you click on download from URL, and we copy this. Copy link address. Paste it in here and query. And then all you need to do is click on download. I'm not going to do this as I've already downloaded it, but that's what you need to do. Now that we've downloaded TrueNAS, let's follow the instructions on our blog page. We will provide a link down below to this blog page. And we recommend that you, that you follow us and do the same. In our case, we have not added a PCI storage device to our server, as this server is used merely for experimenting. But if you are serious about using a NAS, we recommend that you do that. The reason for doing that is to get better performance, for those of you who are going to do that, there are some commands you need to run. Go to Proxmox, click on the Proxmox server, open the shell, and we are going to run these commands here. You also need to open a notepad so that you can write these results down. The first command you are going to run is this, so copy, paste, Take the results that you get here and save them into a notepad. We have already done that in our blog for our server, so that's what we got. The next command you need to run is this. Copy. I'm going to clear the screen. Paste. Likewise, you're going to also copy the command with the data into your notepad or text editor. We have put in the blog what we expect to get. This is what you expect to get. Obviously, it depends on your hardware. We've got three disks. We have a SSD disk as the boot up disk. We have a one terabyte drive and a two terabyte drive on our server. Finally, you need to run this command. 
So let's clear, copy, paste. And save all this information also into your notepad. Now we can create our VM. Please note immediately after creating the VM, do not start it. If you have a PCI Express device, you need to follow these instructions and create this on the VM before you start it. Now let's go and create the VM. It is important that you have 8192 megabytes or more. So let's go now and create our VM. The first thing I like to do is to find the place for it. I'm going to use 350 as my VM ID. So now click the right button, create VM. Otherwise you're going to get frustrated. 350. Let's call this trueness. Next. You now need to use the normal storage device where you create your VMs. As I mentioned earlier, we like to use ZZ data for our VMs as we have allocated two terabytes to that. So let's use this one. And in there you will find the true NAS ISO. Next, select the QEMU agent. Next, allocate enough storage. I'm going to allocate 100 gigabytes. Obviously, this depends on your environment. And you probably want to put a few terabyte drives or at least a 10 terabyte drive or what, whatever floats your boat. So allocate enough storage. Next, this is now important. You need to have two cores or more. I've only got a single CPU on mine, so one socket is fine. Next, as I mentioned earlier, this is important. If you do not allocate enough memory, you're not going to be able to get this to work. So 8192 gigs is what I'm going to allocate. Next, leave the networking as is and confirm and finish. And there is the VM being created. There's a padlock and you can see it's busy creating the VM. We need to wait for this. If you did have that device, then you would click here. You will click hardware. You will add and then you will go and add a PCI device. And then here you will look for the device. Unfortunately, I don't have on my server, so you can see it's not giving me that option. But in your case, it would give you the option and you would follow the instructions as I have here. I am now going to use the 100 gigabytes I've allocated on my disk. You can see that if you are serious about adding a NAS to your Proxmox environment, you definitely want to add its own disk storage. Now with that, I'm going to continue. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to assume that you followed those instructions. And now we click on console and we say start. Now that we've done that, we press enter. We are going to select the first option, so press enter. Now here you need to hit the space bar to put a, a asterisk here and then press enter. And we are confirming that we are going to erase. Yes, press enter. This is a new feature that's come out in the past when you installed through NAS. It only allowed you to log in as root. Now they don't recommend that. And you see that 
going to use a user called admin. Just remember this admin. So press enter. Now we need to give the admin user a password. A strong one, please. Press the down key and type again. Press the down key and press enter. Yes, we will create a swap. We are using new technology. In the past, you needed to tell it to boot from BIOS. But in this case, you can just press enter. I'm assuming that you are running Proxmox version 8. If not, please upgrade before you do this. This is going to take a long time. We will pause the video. After a very long wait, we got to this point. Now we can press enter. And now we need to tell it to reboot. So we're going to go to option 3 and press enter. Now we're going to wait for the server to restart. We will pause the video until this is completed. And now we have completed this. And if you look at the top here, they give you the URL. There's two URLs. I'm going to put a notepad on the screen so that I can type the IP address. As you can see, we have two URLs. We will try the second one. Open the browser. Our user is admin. And the password we created. And we now have succeeded to install TrueNAS. There's different things that you can manage from here. You can manage your, your network. So if we go here, we see our IP address. This is running DHCP. I'm not going to make changes, but you can. To do that, you would hit the edit and change that and add. And then you need to give it the IP address you want. 10.154.2.73 And this must be 24. And save. Enter the gateway 10.154.2.3 And you can spend time going through this. You can create users. You can manage users. At this point in time, we have met our requirements. We have succeeded to install and to get through NAS to work in our Proxmox server. We hope you added an additional disk drive to your server and followed our instructions to do that. And with that, we hand you back to Josh. Over to you, Josh. Thank you for watching this video, exploring the world of TrueNAS to install in your Proxmox. We got to install the newest version of TrueNAS fresh off the press. Use this for the allocation of Docker and Kubernetes volumes, when speed is important. We showed you how to set up and use PCIe technology for your storage. Now when you need storage speed, you can rely on TrueNAS. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your dedication to exploring Proxmox's capabilities is invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, automation, and empowerment through its incredible tools for your home lab. 
please like and comment to share your feedback and suggestions for our channel. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, consider becoming a Patreon supporter for exclusive access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise, and supporting the channel. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.